So if you think that the window management in Windows 10 is not great, I might have something for you, right? So you might be familiar with this. You are using a program over here, then you try to use another program, and one program covers the other. It's really messy, and things can get even worse. Let's say you try to open your, your browser, right? Now it's covered and a mess. But um, Windows gives you options for this. For instance, you can use the snap native to Windows and uh, position the Windows that you need, right? This is a, an approach to using Windows, right? Just select the Windows that you need and use a snap and this might be sufficient for many. If you need something even more, you use something like Task View and you dedicate an entire virtual desktop for this, right? And now you can have your programs over here, right? This is the native approach that people use with Windows. Uh, but in my opinion, it's not great. And I think I have several options that are better and one that is probably really good. Uh, the one that I use and it's pretty cool. So another approach to, to this is a virtual um, desktop uh, manager, right? One that I used for uh, a long time was called Dexpot. It's still in use, pretty good, uh, free for um, uh, use as a uh, particular user. You can see around here in the, in the corner that there are um, these workspaces to, similar to the de uh, desktop environments from uh, something like um, XFCE if you come from Windows, right? From, uh, from Linux. And um, it gives you some options of customization, right? Animations, it's it's really cool. Uh, different backgrounds, uh, background for each uh, desktop environment, right? But that's not the only reason that you use um, um, Window Manager for, right? Many Window Managers, if you come from Linux, uh, have other options like um, Hotkey Diamonds, right? Um, scratch pads, whatever. So in the case of Windows, you need another program which will work as a hotkey diamond. This one, it's really good, free. Uh, it's called Shortkeeper. You select the option that you need, create a new uh, shortcut and get these options over here. Uh, when you are done with that, you, let me open this. Uh, for instance, Windows F7, it launches a new terminal, the new Windows terminal. Um, I think Windows K launch, uh, yeah, Visual Studio Code, right. So you need two programs to solve this. Uh, and still the window management uh, over here is not amazing. So what I'm proposing I, um, I want to show you it's what is called um, dynamic tiling window manager. There's one in Windows that is called um, bug n. It's the one that I want to show you, right? So it already launched. As you, you just just watch, uh, it act automatically uh, position the windows in the way that I want it. So there are a couple of gaps that are around there. Now I can close the gaps or leave a default size of gaps. If I want this window to be over here, change the uh, respective size or deciding which is the window that I want to leave over here. If I want to close a window, right? If I want to leave a window as the principal, as the main window, or if I want to see it in this uh, distribution. Even I can 
get this kind of distribution around here. Change the position of the windows that I'm currently using. Use another uh, virtual space. Launch programs. Several programs. Right. All of this. Come to the morning. Uh, so if we go to the GitHub page, here they tell us what the window manager can do. So Bungen is a uh, well-documented, actively developed, um, built on auto hotkey project. So the whole idea is that uh, it dynamically tiles the windows. This is, it resizes them and position, positions them whatever you want them to be. It also gives you multiple views, uh, manages them, and gives you this thing that is called um, uh, tags, tags and layouts. Uh, so I'm going to explain you how you can use them. Um, the whole idea with tags is that you assign different properties to different windows. For instance, the window for the camera follows me wherever I want to go. Um, it gives you access to what it's called layouts uh, or here in the in the taskbar you can see this thing and uh, it represents the tab layout which is what is currently uh, laying out all these windows like this but you can use the monocle one which is quite similar to a full screen right uh, there is the floating one where you can open a new window and um, it opens oh did i yeah you can open a new window and the new window it's floating shocking but the layouts are independent for each uh, workspace tag whatever you want to call it um where else you have functions to configure anything that you want to overheat if you want to use the mouse you can also use the mouse and that's it the whole idea with this is that um, i'm gonna make another video about how to configure the um, uh, the, um, the hotkeys right um, how to configure the set of um, settings and rules um yeah that's it see you later